Now back to our top story, Chattanooga's new police chief. It's time now for an exclusive first interview with a man who will be leading the force. Fred Fletcher, of course, as you can see, joins us in our studio along with the man who tapped him for the job, Chattanooga Mayor Andy Burke. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us so much. I want to start, Mayor Burke, with you. What makes this man standing beside you the right person for the job? Well, over the last year, I've talked a lot about public safety. It's been my number one priority. I certainly hear from citizens our streets are too dangerous. We know that we've made lots of progress. Mm -hmm. But I look for the right person to unleash the potential of, the, of our department. We have great people out there. They need a leader who can put them uh, and make them one of the best mid-sized cities, police departments in the country. Fred Fletcher is that person. Chief, you came from Austin, Texas. It's a city of, of 800,000 people. What is it about Chattanooga and Chattanooga's particular crime problem that interested you in wanting to come here? Because we have just random shootings just for no reason at all, and people are just fed up with it. Well, first, what excites me is that they may not be random and that there is something we can do to apply intelligence-led policing to help solve those problems. Mayor, Mayor Burke has implemented a program, VRI, that I'm excited to work with that addresses those exact problems. And that's, that's an exciting part. Have you worked with that issue before? Have you seen that, that uh, uh, program and how it works in other cities? Or a yeah. similar one in Austin. Right. Yes, sir. We addressed a chronic open-air drug market with very similar, with very similar program. And talking about that open-air drug market, we've talked about in Chattanooga how some of the problems go back to these drug problems. How do you change that culture? How do you tell people that we're not going to stand for that and really change the way that people look at these crimes? Well, as Mr. Kennedy will tell you and as we've been learning as we've worked with him, is it's focused deterrence. You provide support and services and you hold people accountable. And we work together as a community, as a police department, and as a, a vibrant leadership team to do that. One of the things that you'll see is that He's gotten results over the last time, last few years in his area. Crime has gone down by double digits, both property crime and violent crime. That's what the citizens of Chattanooga want to see. That's where we've been working, and I think you'll see those results. I know you've seen it before, Chief. People are scared. They're afraid to go out. They're afraid to walk the streets. There are places where they just don't feel comfortable at night. How do you convince people that your way is the right way? Well, my way is our way. I, I want us to work together as a community and a leadership team and as a talented police department to solve those problems. And if it's, it will be successful, it's been successful for me and for the folks that are teaching us how to do it, and together with the community, we'll make it successful. In the event that it needs to be tweaked, we will work with the community to learn from them and learn from each other to make it a successful program. And you've been involved in these um what we might call a confrontation with these people, giving them an option in Austin. Um, don't, go to, don't go to jail, get help instead. How have those gone? How have you seen lives changed? Tremendously successful. It's probably the highlight of my career is seeing people who have probably had their lives saved. I've had people thank me for saving their parents and their children's lives for that program. We had 100% turnout and we've had a very low recidivist rate in the community where I employed it before and I think we can be successful here as well. Very quickly, Mayor, uh, we were talking uh, about the fact that uh, uh, Chief Fletcher is from Austin, Texas. Uh, did you consider, as we were going through the process, promoting from within? Absolutely. Did we have, did we have excellent candidates yeah. as, as Chief the, Fletcher is? There's no doubt about it. We had 77 people apply for this job, including six from the CPD. There were lots of great candidates. I felt like I was picking the shiniest jewel uh, in the mine. Uh, so I don't want anybody to think that we... We didn't have somebody here. What we found was uh, we have a great person who's going to come in and lift our department up to the next level. I think that's where uh, Fred is. Uh, if you talk to people down in Austin, they say he's been tremendous. Austin is the second safest big city in our country. Uh, we have the chance to re really make strides in Chattanooga. And one you last question, Chief. Um, you have seen some of these things happen in Austin, but when you come into Chattanooga and you're working with some of these people that wanted your job, how do you make that a smooth transition? I work with them. They're, they're professionals and they're talented and they care about the community and they, they've already, I've already met with them and they're eager to get moving forward and help the community feel safer and be safer. We certainly welcome you here and we look forward to working with you as well. Thank you guys Absolutely. for joining Thank us. You. Some great weather, Calvin, that greeted Chief Fletcher for his first day in Chattanooga. Beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. Be